going to turn now to our forecast here locally with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Are we going to be seeing any of that? Well, the good news is that it's going to be much, much weaker when it gets here. So we'll okay. get some rain. We'll get possibly some okay. thunder and a very low wind severe risk. Okay. But like they were talking about, there's a pretty significant risk for severe weather out to our west tomorrow. And it's for really the the what we call the arc la miss, that little area where the Mississippi, Arkansas and Louisiana all come together. Uh, that's where we're going to have a bullseye where all the ingredients are ripe for potential tornadoes tomorrow. And a lot of it's going to be during the late evening hours and then all this is going to be weakening as it progresses eastward and it'll be encountering less energy and less favorable conditions when it gets into our area by early on Saturday morning. So again, luckily we're not looking at a huge threat here, uh, but something that we're going to be watching closely right now. There are those storms through St. Louis as well as lots of Missouri there and also into Oklahoma City seeing quite a bit of rainfall and it's just been kind of training over the same locations. Uh, so flash flooding has been a concern out to our west. Now, next 24 hours for us, pretty calm. It'll be after that that we'll start to see those uh, showers move in. So tonight, 55 degrees, a fairly mild overnight by March standards, low 50s in the mountains. And woo, it's going to be warm tomorrow. Take a look, 84 in Spartanburg, 80 in Asheville, and mostly sunny skies. Now, our next big thing, it's going to be this rain chance that we're going to have as we go into this weekend. So starting off Saturday, this is, well, it's, not many folks start their Saturday at 4 a.m., but I just wanted to give you an idea at 4 a.m. Saturday morning. We'll have heavy rain just out to our west, so it's going to be making its approach in, but it will be formed into a line and a lot of the severe elements with that line will be pretty much over, uh, but we will be looking at heavy rain and some gusty wind with it as it's pushing into the mountains later on. So here is 6 a.m. You can see heavy downpours all along that line hitting Atlanta around 6 o'clock in the morning. For us in the upstate, looks like it's going to be toward about 7, 8, 9 o'clock that we get some of this rain and it's going to weaken quite a bit. Notice the heavy rain in the mountains and then into the upstate. Uh, those storms really fall apart, but certainly that chance uh, that we can have a couple of stronger ones develop as we go toward mid to late morning as this is all starting to push out of the area. But there's 9 a.m. a uh, light to moderate showers and kind of widespread nature of those showers there. Uh, but by 11 o'clock, we're beginning to clear out and we've got the Spartanburg Humane Society having their big rummage sale on Friday into Saturday. They were asking me about the afternoon and it's actually not looking too bad. After about 11 a.m. in the upstate, we're going to be looking uh, much drier, but a little bit breezy, though, if you are planning to have any kind of yard sale or if you're going to be uh, just out and about, the wind will be kicking up. But the rain should be pretty much done by around lunchtime. Now, we could still see isolated showers or even a thunderstorm, but for the most part, we're going to be done with that rain. Now, when it comes to our severe weather threat, uh, the best chance for anything severe is going to be along the 85 corridor and south, and it's a marginal risk, meaning it's a low end risk. We're not expecting widespread severe weather, but as that line moves through, we could have at least an isolated strong storm. Uh, so we'll be watching it closely, but low end risk. And when we talk about that low end risk, it's a very low risk of tornadoes, slightly more elevated risk for damaging wind and heavy rain as we could get a few strong gusts as this moves through. So a first alert weather day on Saturday for those effects that you'll have for your Saturday morning plans. The afternoon looks much better and then we'll have a couple showers in the afternoon on Sunday, a couple to start Monday morning as well. Right now looks like most of that's going to be in the upstate and then we'll be uh, clearing out into Tuesday and Wednesday in the mountains. First alert for that rain on Saturday, mostly early morning, and then it will be clearing out. But you could hear some thunder and then just small rain chances Sunday and Monday. But I suggest you download the Fox Carolina first alert weather app if you haven't already. If you enjoy our forecasts and want to keep up with the first alert weather team, this is the best way to do it. Scan the code on your screen. Uh, just put, put your phone right up and you can scan it. And the reason I suggest doing that is because it'll take you to exactly where our app is located where you can download it so you don't end up getting the wrong app if you search for it uh, but we're the Fox Carolina first alert weather app will send exclusive videos to your phone watches and warnings all the weather information you need as well as you can put your location in so that you can get forecast that is completely tailored to your area